away. Brilliant tackle. That is outstanding defence, isn't it? You thought Peacock was through on the previous play. They held him just short. And then to hold up Ryan Bailey as well, though. I think Shannon McDonald did most of the work. But you know what? We've had a, a, a rather slowish, I suppose, first 20 minutes. But you would uh, you would have to say territorially, Leeds seem to have control. Have they lost the ball? Yeah, and this will just give them even more territory. I'd like to see the tackle again, or the lovely tackle from Joel Moon. Looks like there was nothing wrong with it. I thought for a moment there might have been a shoulder charge there. Stuart, what say you? Well, that's what uh, Richard Silver just asked the, the video referee, Ben Thale, to, to have a look at that. If it was a shoulder charge, it was very difficult to see it. I don't think it was an impact on the ground. Well, that's where oh, it is. It's impact on the chin. Yeah. Shoulder charge, yeah. Straight to the head. This could be an interesting decision for the officials. Guys, back away, please. Is it the elbow? It certainly no, doesn't knock on at the end of that. No, it's the, it's the left shoulder. He never got the arm up at all, did he? There's very few mitigating circumstances there to play. I think he'll go for the red. He's gone to the pocket and it is red. Joel Moon is sent off at Headingley. It's the second time in successive matches we've been here at Headingley and we've seen red produced. It was Kevin Sinfield last time, of course, remarkably. And tonight, Brian McDermott immediately made his way down to the sideline. And Joel Moon, because it was a shoulder charge, Is grounded by Wellens. Sinfield to Delaney. Delaney then hands it on. Here is Tom Briscoe who's coming off the wing. Great ball out the back to Luluai. 20 metres away. Luluai is brought to ground. Aiton waiting at the dummy half position. Gets it then to Sinfield. He goes wide to Watkins. Sends very well of the threat that Watkins poses down that right hand channel. This is Delaney. They're switching the direction of this attack. Sutcliffe, Sutcliffe gets the one, and Sutcliffe scores for the Rhinos! They switch the play from right to left, and Liam Sutcliffe. Remember, this young man was out on loan at Bradford this year. He made his debut in a 22-30 home defeat by St Helens in May of last year. channel this is really looking he's got Brooks sends it over St Helens get over for a try a vital try as well it all came about as a result of a repeat set that they forced trapping Zach Hardacre in goal and from the resulting dropout Louis McCarthy scars Brook over for only his third try of the campaign a try against Wakefield two weeks ago as well this is Roby and he gives it to Turner, who goes for a 40-20 himself, does Turner, and this, I think, is going to make it. No, ma yes, yes, it does. Hardacre tried all that he knew. It doesn't matter. It won't be classified as a 40-20, but it will still be head and feed because he touched it. Well, here he is, the big fella, and he drives it towards that Leeds line. A great effort on the first tackle from him. Roby waits, and it's Lefranchi, and Anthony Lefranchi. He is pulled to ground by Ryan Bailey. Roby again, looking at the options both ways, goes centre field, finds Soliola, there are four there to stop him. In blue and amber. Roby, quick play the ball, Roby! Oh, he's not given it yet. Is there a doubt about the ground? This is a chance for six. It's a big That same, surely they will not they will not lose the opportunity to do it. Will they go early? Who's back? Will it turn? Lance O'Hire is there, is he? And Turner is. It's back to Lance O'Hire. He's measured the drop goal attempt. And he's kicked it, I think. He has. The St. Helens support told us that he found the mark with the kick. And St. Helens hit the front. And what's more, they hit the front for the first time since the fifth minute. It just got there. It doesn't matter how it goes over, it counted.